The common symptoms of keratoconus uh, are mainly vision. Uh, because the cornea is distorted, the vision then becomes distorted. But there are other symptoms of keratoconus as well, and one of the main things that's associated with keratoconus is also uh, more allergy than normal. And in fact, allergy uh, causes itchy eyes, which causes people to, in fact, then rub their eyes, and the mechanical trauma of that rubbing can, in fact, then feed into the keratoconus and make that distortion of the front surface of the eye even worse. Blurry vision. That's the main thing that brings people in. Uh, with that uh, can be associated allergies, which then causes uh, very itchy eyes. And the blurry vision, which is in fact the main thing, as I said before, um, pa patients will come in and think they're in fact going blind. The main causes of keratoconus are basically genetic. Uh, you do inherit it off your parents. Uh, what's interesting though is, is that it's often the parents don't exhibit the condition and only the child does. And you've said, the common question is, how can it possibly be genetic? But in fact, it is. And on top of that, there are also environmental uh, issues that uh, contribute to the cause of keratoconus. We think that uh, allergy somehow is related, but allergy causes itchy eyes, which then the patient will then rub their eyes and then disturb the eye even further and in fact damage it. And the keratoconus then just perpetuates and gets worse and worse. To diagnose keratoconus, you need very specialised equipment. Uh, two pieces in, uh, in, in fact. One is called a corneal topographer that measures the corneal shape. But also there's another instrument called a corneal pachymeter which measures the thickness of the cornea because in keratoconus the thickness actually becomes thinner and thinner to the point where the cornea distorts. These instruments aren't commonly found in uh, optometrical practices, only specialist keratoconus practices uh, of which we are one. That's actually a common question. Um, will I go blind from keratoconus? Well, the good news is you won't go blind from keratoconus, assuming you get the appropriate treatment from a specialist uh, keratoconus optometrist. The, one of the key issues with the progression of this uh, disease process is early diagnosis and uh, fitting the patient with appropriate uh, vision correction. If that particular person gets that treatment, uh, they won't go blind. Now, if you don't get the appropriate glasses or contact lenses, you, essentially you can be legally blind, but really no one goes blind from keratoconus. Potentially there's actually four steps in the treatment process of uh, patients suffering with uh, keratoconus. The first step is always going to be about trying to correct the vision because ultimately that is the number one symptom. The patient comes in, they can't see properly, and you need to uh, give them some vision back. It's been our experience that uh, many people will come in with incorrect spectacle prescriptions. Now that's not because the previous uh, eye care practitioner um, did any, anything particularly wrong. It's just they're not experienced enough to be able to pick up the nuances of these uh, very delicate prescriptions. Uh, from our perspective, because we see so many keratoconus patients uh, every day, we've had a lot of practice at uh, getting accurate spectacle prescriptions. And consequently, that is always the mainstay of uh, keratoconus treatment. Most patients, on the other hand, they'll end up in um, specialised fitted contact lenses because they've gone beyond the point where glasses will work anymore. And again, that's something that uh, is really our specialty.